cooking today. Today we're going to do another um, pasta dish with an apple sauce and this one I call roast chicken and ham pasta. So again, start off getting the, the pan heating up, add in some oil. Add in some butter. This is always the same with every single pasta. Oil, butter, it starts to heat up. And then we're going to reach for the garlic. So not a fresh garlic today, just um, a wee bit of puree. And this is what I used in the napoli sauce. Let's try it away. Then we get more onions. And again, always the same. Just let them brown a little bit. So we've already cooked off the pasta, that's sitting at the side, okay? This is one of my favourite pastas actually. Could eat this one all day long. Then we're going to put in the ham and our chicken. So the ham's already diced up. Get my chicken. We'll put a lot in there. Probably this one you can get a good six out of. That's about a breast and a half of chicken and about a good 100 grams of ham that are diced up. That's cooking away. When you see the ingredients sitting there on the tray, what ends up happening is that a normal restaurant what they would do is let me chop everything up so there we go. Right, we're going to add in the lime then. That's a good slug. Always love that sound of the wine frying in the pan. Again, if you're really into your sport, then you don't need to use it. For any other reason, you don't need to use the wine. But in a normal restaurant, it's very kind of quite fundamental. You would always have it in it. So in with a napoli sauce. So that's enough. You can see this dish come together now. We'll be adding cream as well. Not a lot, but this is the one the thing that makes the dish personal. So that's roughly around nearly 100 millilitres of cream, whipping cream. Sometimes I think double cream is too heavy. Um, single cream can be too wet, just almost like a milk. Whipping cream is just kind of right, and some of you might right now be saying, Oh, no, whipping cream is quite unhealthy. Well, cream's unhealthy if you're eating chocolate mousse every day, McDonald's milkshakes every day, chocolate clears every day, but not in moderation. So, again, I'm going to put in the obligatory amount of Parmesan cheese also. Again, this also partly seasons the dish and a little bit of pepper now. Away for roughly a minute there. And again, so everything mixes in well together and obviously it's going to be at a suitable temperature to serve the dish. Now I'm going to add in the pasta. The cooked pasta, you might think, well, why would you do that first? Well, it will stay hot for a good five minutes while well, you're putting together your pasta sauce. It won't go cold necessarily, and again, you're putting it back into the heat. And I would say that is us.
jednou sklenku. No a to So until the next time, thanks very much for watching. If you like it, press like.